working Yay. Out. Okay. I want to hear all these stories. <laughs> Wait. Hello. Hello. We got it. Hello. Pod meets world. Yes. Right here in the flesh. Drive in person, granny blanket included. <laughs> Don't talk too loud. <laughs> we talked to you guys at Wango Tango. Do you remember? Yes. yes. Nice you guys look so great. You. Thank you. Thank you. So I have to move this. It's distracted. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mouse right There was on a your cursor face. right on your face. I couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. So you have, okay. So the podcast is out now to the world. Yes. And all the comments on the Instagram so far have been, oh my gosh, I grew up with this, like the original show. And have you been reading those? And how do you feel? Oh, yeah, we've been reading a little bit. I mean, it's just kind of trickling in now. Um, and then, of course, people can actually like tweet at us or comment on our Instagram stuff. Uh, it's all been very positive. Um, you know, we grew up with the show, too. So, <laughs> uh, so we uh, identify, definitely. Um, you know, that's what this whole journey for us is like going back and, in my case, kind of discovering the show for the first time uh, and really coming to appreciate it. So we're, you know, we're right there with the fans. The feedback is really important to us, too, because, you know, we, in the first episode, we talked about what our schedule was like, and, and we had a lot of discussions after the fact, and even before the podcast, we were like, is that boring? Like, should we talk about what a day in the life was like every single day? And we went back and forth about, well, if it's boring, people will tell us. And so being right. able to read comments where people go, man, hearing about the PAs driving around at 3 a.m. and knowing what your schedule was like is actually really interesting. Feel free to lean into that. That's good for us to know, because we've got We've got endless schedules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> we can do statistics for I episodes. Mean, we can do this. We can do a whole episode on it. So no, like we are reading the comments. I'm trying to read as many of them as I can. We've obviously been really busy since the, the podcast launched yesterday, yeah. but uh, we are paying attention to the feedback and incorporating it into the show. And hit us up if there's something you want to you want to see or you want to hear, like something specific. Pod meets world let show at gmail.com. There you go. Let us know. <laughs> it's great because people you're willing to like listen. You know, I mean, podcasts for the most part are people just giving feedback and people talk about what they want, but you guys are very open to it, which is really nice because there's yeah. so many requests that we don't like talking at people. We like talking with them. So hopefully they them. can they can join us with that stuff. Yeah. And at Wango Tango, you told us you had never watched the episodes together. So you're going through and watching the episodes together now for the first time. Yes. Well, Ryder's never seen them at all. Yeah, I've only watched a, a couple episodes from the first season. And so for me, this is really about uh, coming to appreciate the show that I was on. Yeah, for the yeah. first time. For the first time, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it is. It's been really fun because uh, I don't remember... I did not remember any of how the show really even started. And I think one of the things we all kind of laughed about was we watched the pilot and then we looked at each other and we were like, this show was good. This is a good show. <laughs> it's just pretty. I think this Feeny guy's got something going for <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It was like, it was really nice to watch it from the lens of not critiquing ourselves or looking at it in a personal way as much as from a fan perspective yeah. and uh we're like hey i think the show's decent we might have something this show could go for a while <laughs> well, my, we might have something here this is special and daniel you were on the first four episodes did you you also told us at wango tango so what was it like do you remember joining the set with the boys back then like you, very, were you yeah. nervous were I was you... very nervous I mean we haven't done the origin story episode yet we are going to do an entire episode just about our origins and and what we had done but like unlike both writer and Will who had been professional actors for years I was very new to acting I would first of all say I had never I did not know what acting was until I was already on the set the only thing the only work I had done was was commercials and in those commercials I just got to play a bubbly 10 year old girl which is exactly who Danielle was at the time and then I did two episodes of Full House where the character I played was kind of just maybe a slightly meaner version of who Danielle was <laughs> and so I had never I didn't understand what acting was and I these people felt like pros to me and that they had all kind of developed a rapport and they had some inside jokes and I, I felt very much on the outside but not because they ostracized me just because I felt like I was out of my element yeah. Um, we were trying to ostracize you. You just yeah, you wouldn't let us. I know. I, I, just, I just kept you wormed, my way wormed your way in yeah. there into our hearts. That's absolutely how it was. Do you remember the first things you've ever said to each other? I know it's a while back, but I don't remember. I don't remember if it was the first thing or not. But I remember a conversation. The way I know. Looking at water. <laughs> 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 
kept going. <laughs> I remember that one of the first conversations I had with Ben and Ryder was about how old we were. And it's because it's just because it's such a stupid conversation that I remember it, where Ben said to me, Ben was like saying something, he's like, well, you're, you know, you're so much younger than us. And I said, oh, how old are you? And he said, he said 13. And I said, oh no, I think what he said was you're, cause you're younger than us. And I said, oh, how old are you? And, and he said 13. And I said, oh, I said, well, I'm not that much younger than you. I'm 12. And he said, oh, okay. And then he said, I said, well, when, when's your birthday? And he said, September. And it was August. And I said, oh, so you're going to be 14. And you go, no, he's turning 13. And I looked at him and I said, so you're 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's a great story. That's and so great story. I think I, I remember that so well because I, <laughs> he was cheating. He was, he was, he was like aging, aging himself, himself up. up. And I was yeah. like, you're not 13. Yes, so and I did 12. feel like, oh, I am such a baby. You're, you were already 13 and I'm 12. Anyway, wow. so like, I, I don't That's remember great. when that was, but I know it was my first week and it was just a funny story. That is great. That is great. Oh my gosh. And plus like, just to say, like the, the stories you're like oh yeah I'm 12 I'm 13 like that's insane like yeah. you guys were so young and like now you're bringing the podcast back and you're able to share this stuff like just that you're still friends you know yeah. like it's, it's insane fun. I mean also just to think about like what a 12 year old conversation well, how old are you well how old are you well when's your birthday it still <laughs> happens like, today like, it's just funny that these were people that these people were us and we were <laughs> we were getting paid we were professionals yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> exactly and then you go sign your contract and then you go work and then you go to work yeah, yeah. very strange oh my gosh do you remember what you did to pass time when you weren't filming but you still had to be on set did you guys have any like were you at craft services Grape tossing, lots of grape tossing. Grape tossing. Will can throw a grape. Or could, I don't know if I can still do it. Well, we're not gonna quiz you, but uh, Will could <laughs> throw a grape. So the sound stage that we had was so high. It, feet tall, I yeah. mean, so high. And he could throw a grape so far into the sky <laughs> and then catch it every single time. In it is mouth. impressive. It yeah, is, catch it in his mouth. It's crazy. I remember I worked my way up to mini muffins. <laughs> but you remember that because they, when they no and the thing that was so funny is they had to land perfectly and when they did they, they did this satisfying thunk because oh, it would like perfectly <laughs> land in the mouth yeah it was oh, great yeah i just had a, a new memory that we have to talk about in the podcast remember otter pops oh we were obsessed oh, with we otter pops and and the only the blue ones. <laughs> we only liked the yeah. blue ones and then the craft service guy got you only blue otter, otter pops. pops yeah and we would walk around just <laughs> blue yeah. mouths all blue day mouths, long all day that's long. right oh otter pops the best <laughs> Oh, please sponsor our show, Otter Pops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you definitely just, need to do an episode about that. You guys lit right up when you said that. that. Service moment. That's right, that's Otter Pops. Uh, we also spent a lot of time in school, you know, they which do. is something we talked about a little bit on our first episode, right. and I'm sure it's going to keep coming up, is that while we were working together and acting and rehearsing constantly, we also had a lot of our downtime, three to four hours a day, not really downtime, in school together. Yeah. Um, and, you know, watching each other go through different subjects and different grades. So that was always a big part of our life, too, that uh, I, I'm looking forward to talking about more. Oh, my gosh, I bet. And what is, who, who is there any certain guest stars that you want to have on the podcast that you are going to reach out to or you maybe have planned that you can spoil to us? All of them. Like, well, like, no joke. We want to, we talk about how we'd like to have as many people on as we can. We're reaching out to everybody from crew, writers. crew cast, the extras that were on the show. Like we want to get everybody we can to come back and talk about their experiences. Yeah. We, uh, we are, we haven't filmed it yet or taped it yet, but I, fingers crossed it is scheduled. We are having Lee Norris come on the podcast. Ooh, we're going to be very excited about very that. Very excited to yeah. talk to Lee who played Minkus. I'm really looking forward to that one. We already were lucky enough to interview Bill Daniels. So you guys will all be able to hear that episode coming up in a little bit. We also had our director of the first two seasons, David Trainer. He came on and talked about my first episode, number 104. Um, um, and that one was uh, was a really special episode for multiple reasons too. So Rusty, oh, yes, and William Rusty, Rusty played our uh, played the Matthews dad came on. We've had some incredible guest stars, and we have Trina McGee scheduled too. We were actually already supposed to. Take People were commenting on the comments. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we're we're really excited about all those. Is it for the ones that you've already filmed? Is it hard to not have them out yet? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just like dying for me. We feel like we're in the midst of a conversation, but it's the, but the we can't. Talk, yeah, it hasn't caught up yet. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're always one step ahead. Unfortunately, we want to have the conversation with everybody. So yeah. If you if the show today, like you're looking back at it, where do you think or where would you want your characters from the show in 2020 or 2022? Where do you think your characters or what would you want them to be doing? Mm. I've always said Eric would be president. 
<laughs> this is Senator, last we saw him, stranger things have happened. I could see Eric as president of the United States. Uh, the way Girl Meets World ended, Sean was married and adopted Maya. Um, and so, yeah, I think being a dad would, would be great. Um, but I guess Maya would now be 38. out of the house. Twenty <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> yeah. All right, so we had a couple good years there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess just married and, and happily a father. Yeah, I think it's hard for those of us who kind of saw the characters have some sort of adulthood on Girl Meets World. Yeah. It's hard to like imagine a life outside of that. But I think for both Ryder and I, being a parent feels natural to us because we're both parents in real life. And like we know how one difficult and two joyous being a parent is. And I would want that for Topanga the same way I want that for myself. Yeah. Um, and so if I take Girl Meets World and what I know about Girl Meets World out of it, I would still want to see Topanga raising a family. And I think you feel the same way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what's one thing that the podcast has taught you? Like what, like that you genuinely, you have a f feeling from this podcast. What is it? Microphones pick up everything. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I mean, for me, it's really an appreciation for the quality of Boy Meets World. Um, I think just yeah. like from the pilot on, I've just been really impressed with the storytelling and the depth of characters and the willingness for the show to not go for the easy laugh. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. that's what I think has made it in part stand out over the years. And I'm really, I really appreciate that now watching it. How I, good Ben is. How too. good Ben, ben is. is really, so really good. good, especially these first few episodes. I mean, the, he's in every scene. He's so in the weight, literally every scene. The weight of the whole show is on his shoulders and he carried it admirably. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I took for granted how much more he was working than the rest of us. Yep, me too. And that he still had to do so well in school and still had the same amount of school time we had, but he also had an entire script to memorize yeah. and and the different dynamics he had to play between his relationship with Feeney and his relationship with his parents and his relationship with with Sean Friends, and his brother. It's yeah. like it really it really is like I have a whole yeah. new appreciation for what Ben was me going too. through as a kid and it's very impressive. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What a roller coaster of emotions just living your life. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun. Like it's so it sounds at so least fun. somebody caught it all on film. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you guys so much. You guys were amazing at Wango Tango. You guys were so nice and you're fun. And oh, thank, thank you. you. Really nice meeting you. You're wonderful. <laughs>